Hello, this is Mark LaRochelle from Productive Computing and Productive Computing University. Thanks for joining us on this video. We wanted to include an excerpt from our course called Claris FileMaker Pro Intermediate. This is the second in a series of courses designed to help you, the Claris FileMaker developer, gain an understanding of how to build your own apps. In this intermediate course, we take things up to the next level. We learn about scripts, script triggers, more advanced layouts, going to separate layouts, printing to PDFs, sending an email. We learn about looping and some other advanced techniques that you normally would get to in a real world situation, especially if you are now starting to work with a main table and a table of line items. Those two are common in the workplace when it comes to database design and development. And the intermediate course starts touching upon those topics and bringing your skills to the next level. Here we've included an excerpt talking about text formatting functions. Now on to the lesson. In this lesson, we learn about text formatting functions. So I'm going to open up that same demo file that I created earlier for the text functions. So there are times when you're either creating a script or creating a calculation where you want to produce literal text and you want to stylize that text. This is where text formatting functions come into play. Take for an example, I wanted to put this string, trains, planes, autos, but I also wanted to say transportation. And I wanted this in bold. So to imitate this formatted as an expression or calculation, it would go something like this. And I'll go ahead and build this in Data Viewer. First, let me edit something I had before and just introduce you now to the text formatting options. Over here on the right, you can see, and I want to highlight a few of the important ones. Let's say that we wanted the word transportation in bold and the rest of these in non-bold. So before we do anything with the stylized text, let me just type this in here. In fact, let me copy this. Just grab it on my clipboard, copy that, go back to Data Viewer, and put a quote and a quote, and that will build my text. Now it's not separated with a return. So to do that, I'll need to embed this return symbol. You can either choose it here. It's also under your keyboard as Option ampersand or Alt ampersand, depending on the platform. So now we have our text in alignment. Now to get this item in bold, this first item, this first name, transportation, we can use a text formatting option called text style add. So we'll use that text style. Let me just put a space here. Take that out of quotes for a second. Text style add. The text we want to write is transportation. The styles in this case is going to be bold. I can take this off here. So now I've got this formatted text in a function, and then I just need to join this with the rest of the hard-coded text. And I'll just need to put a quote here because that's where the beginning of the hard-coded text takes place. So let me copy this formula here, and we'll go into Manage Database, and I'll create a new calc called Values Calc. I'll make it a calculation and I'll paste this expression in here. Make sure the result is text. I'll push OK, push OK, and bring that new value calc field over here, like so. And now we have formatted text. Now there's many different styles, not just bold. And if you want to see the different styles, you can refer to the help docs. I'll just do text style add and then click on the help insignia. And these are the reserved words. In fact, I don't even need to put these words in quotes when I use it as a parameter in that expression. I could just put the word plain, bold, extend, etc. And then if you want to stack these, that is also possible. You just put the plus sign between them and they'll stack. There's some good examples here in the help file that you can follow along with and try some of your own. So I'll stack bold with italic. Push OK, push OK, and now we have bold and italic. So colorizing text is also an option. For that, we go and use a couple different functions. 
The first function we use is text color. That starts the process. So let me just erase all of this here and we'll just focus on one piece of simple text. And I'll call it my text. And I'll hard code that here. Then it needs a value for RGB, which is another function altogether, as you can see here. So it just needs to know the red, green, and blue values. So if I wanted this text red, I'd go 255, 0, and 0 for the other values, and then push OK. And now we should have my text in red. I could do text style add, and then all of this is my text, so I'll embed that here. That's why my left parenthesis, then I'm embedding all of this. Then I'm going to put a comma, and then I'll put bold here, and then close the text style add function. Push OK, push OK, and now we've got bold and red. So you can kind of see how this works. One last thing to say about text styles. A lot of times you'll be working with a situation where you're on the internet. You'll be here, let's say, on Productive Computing University, and you copy this text, and then you come back to FileMaker and you paste it. And this is what you're left with, a bunch of stylized text, which may or may not be desirable. But let me now throw together a quick script and I'll call it style text or make plain. And then we'll do one set field here. And you'll see how this evolves. Let me isolate this as a single script step. All right, I wanna do the values field. And what am I gonna set that with? I'm gonna use the function, a text function, and it's gonna be text format remove. And the text I'm gonna remove is going to be the values. So I push OK, I'll save this script, and then I'll perform it. And what you'll see is that it will make this text go back to the default as prescribed by the field when you're in layout mode. So that's how you unformat text. So in a situation where people are copying and pasting, like this is what's on my clipboard, now you have an option to run the script and make it plain, or you could add that same code, that same exact code here, text format remove, and put that in an auto enter calc for values. So I'll go to my values field and go to the options and create a calculated value so that when the data is entered or changed, it will remove all the formats. And then we can do one better on this. I'll do a trim function and then we'll trim any spaces before or after that text string. Then I'll push OK, and then I'll make sure that this executes every time. So I push OK again. So now when I paste this text from my clipboard, it will go in as plain text because the auto enter calc has taken over and made it plain text. So like I mentioned in a previous lesson, to learn more about these, best to create a few examples of your own and test them out for size. Speaking of size, you might want to test changing the font size, and then you can selectively add or remove styles. So as an example, if you had something that was bold and red, but you only wanted to remove the bold, you could do that too. So if I go back into Manage Database and look at my Values field and the options there, I can change these around a little bit. Instead of having the text format removed altogether, I can just say text style remove, and I'll target the values field, and I'm going to remove bold from the selected option. Now when I copy this red bold text, and I paste it here, once I click out of this field, my bold attribute goes away, but my red remains. So a lot of flexibility and functionality with these text formatting options. You'll use text formatting for all kinds of things, mostly for producing communications within a Claris application. Let's say you're creating templates and you want them stylized in a certain way. You can have a script predefine some stylized text for you and construct that in conjunction with actual fields. So you have sort of a merge document happening within your application but you get all the benefits of having color and styles to go along with that. 
So I hope you enjoyed that lesson extract from our course called Claris FileMaker Pro Intermediate. To find out more, you can go to ProductiveComputingUniversity.com where you'll find this course along with several others training you on the Claris platform. Thanks for joining us. Feel free to subscribe and like, and we'll catch you on the next one.